Even after years of becoming a minimalist, I still have that urge to buy the next cool thing that comes out from time to time. Is it stuff that I need? No, usually not. Thankfully, there have been a few things that I consider and ways of thinking that I adopted that have stopped the unnecessary spending and ultimately to stop buying things I don't need altogether. Here's how I stopped wanting to buy stuff. But first, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Here we talk about minimalism, frugal living, tech, and things of that nature. So if that sounds good to you and you end up liking the video, be sure to like and please Iron Reaver Soul Stealer the subscribe button. Let's get started. I'm basically just going to present a list of things I do or think about before almost any purchase, starting with the first one, which is waited out. I'm always surprised about how much I pass on a purchase after a good waiting period. If it's something that costs quite a bit of money, I usually give myself about a 30 day waiting period. During this time, I'm able to see if it fits in my budget, look at reviews if I can, but most importantly, see if I even care after 30 days. And I feel like this is just the perfect amount of time to wait. It's enough time for the hype of a new product to die down, and it's enough time for a lot of thought and consideration to go into it. Having this waiting period almost always allows me to avoid buyer's remorse, prevent those impulse purchases, and of course, it just builds a little bit of discipline with money. Next time you consider a big purchase, sleep on it for a few nights and just give it some thought. Pros and cons list. There's almost always a pros and cons list to be made when spending. The obvious con is a loss of money and space in your living area, but there are other cons too. Like if it's something that will need regular maintenance and money to go into it to continue using it. And is it something that is generally a waste of time and very unproductive? Speaking from personal experience, I can say every single time I've made a pros and cons list, the cons usually far outweigh the pros. Aside from purchases and spending, I make a pros and cons list with any big life decision. Unsubscribe and avoid temptations. And this is absolutely something that can be practically done rather than just a way of thinking. Algorithms and personalized ads are everywhere. And there is at least a way to control it to an extent. A while ago, I made an effort to actively go into my email and unsubscribe in order to avoid those temptations to purchase something. I had a slight desire recently to build a PC. And as you could probably guess, every single video on my YouTube homepage was about building PCs. And just about every single ad on the sides of my browser were for PCs. And to be honest, this is so annoying to me. Besides unsubscribing from these tempting emails and ads, I've made an attempt at just clearing my YouTube homepage in basically every other area where I have the temptation to spend or where I'm encouraged to spend. On and off the internet, basically anywhere we go, we're encouraged to buy and spend money. And to be honest, sometimes it makes sense if it aligns with our values. I think the point I'm trying to make is to take a little bit control where you can do not give in to tempting impulse spending opportunities. Find a hobby. And this is most definitely something I've experienced firsthand. I do want to address, I fully understand that most hobbies require a little bit of spending to even get started, but try to understand where I'm coming from. Most of the times in my life where I wasn't regularly doing something like a hobby or just some sort of activity for fun or to keep me busy, I really felt compelled to shop more just to find a little bit of joy. And that sounds incredibly sad when I say it out loud. I can say from personal experience, the times I wasn't skating as much and the times I wasn't just going outside as much, I would find myself window shopping more often and just going out to eat for fun. Having a hobby, or at the very least, something I can fully immerse myself in, is so important for me to kill that urge to spend randomly. After going to Europe, I'm really convinced that spending money in itself is a hobby here in the US. And I feel so strongly about this one because this genuinely might be the most effective thing on this entire list. Most of, if not all the hobbies I'd have are completely free, aside from the money I needed to get started. Grabbing books from the library or going out to skate are basically free to do. Explore an affordable alternative option. I'm pretty positive that there's almost always a more affordable version of everything. And I know this video is about not wanting to spend money altogether, but this is still worth talking about. 
Whether it was buying something that I just needed used, like my car or my camera, or even just borrowing something I know I might only need once, I've always found a more affordable option when I just looked. Instead of buying new books, they're free at the library. Now I want to go to the library instead of buying them new. I can say with confidence that while I do still occasionally have the urge to buy something new and exciting, I genuinely enjoy the challenge of finding the more affordable option. Consider financial goals. One of the easiest ways to prevent myself from spending is to simply think about a financial goal I'm trying to reach. Because buying something that I don't absolutely need is the direct opposite of making progress toward that. Something I started doing a while ago that I found incredibly effective was to try and find excitement in watching my savings or investments grow the same way a purchase would bring me excitement. If I remember that every non-essential purchase is ultimately a delay in my financial goals, it's usually a pretty easy decision right then and there. Putting these things into practice over a period of time have really just changed the way I think and really the way I am with purchases and have ultimately stop the urge to buy things. And when I do, it's usually a necessity and just replacing something I already have. So I hope a few things from this video can prove useful for you. Anyways, as always, I appreciate the time you spent here and I appreciate you watching. If you did like this video and you like this type of content, be sure to like and consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time.